Let's look at seizure classification. For example, in epilepsy, two main types to think about. Generalized, seizures that affect the whole brain, and then focal or partial seizures, those that affect a localized part of the brain alone. Let's look at generalized first. There's lots of different types. One of the classic ones to think about is your tonic, clonic, or grand mal seizure, where you go with st initial stiffening, and the secondary jerking of your limb. So your tonic first, then your clonic with impaired consciousness. Then you get your myoclonic seizures, often happen with normal consciousness, but you get these sudden shock-like movements of limbs, a good example of generalized seizures. Then you have your absence or putty mal seizures, often start in childhood, where someone, for example, is talking and then suddenly, and then you snap back into action. These little pauses that can be five to 10 seconds, but can go up to 30 seconds, again, a good example of generalized seizures. And then you get your atonic seizures, where suddenly someone has a drop in tone, so you may fall down with impaired consciousness. Again, a good example of generalized seizures. Then you have your focal or partial seizures. One of the first ones to remember is your secondary generalized seizure, one that starts off focal, but it ends up being generalized. So it starts off with one part of the brain, but it ends up covering the whole of the brain itself. Then you can split it into two types. You can have motor versus sensory. So you can have your focal motor seizures, which affect one part of the brain, but affect only motor things like movements. And then your focal sensory seizures that affect, again, one part of the brain, but only affect sensation, for example. Then you can split it into simple versus complex. A focal simple seizure is when you maintain consciousness, whereas a focal complex seizure is when we have impaired consciousness as well. So two main types, generalized, affect the whole brain, and focal or partial, which affect one part of the brain alone. Hope this helps.